Hey there guys, this is Richard, your host, with another marvellous video. This time, every 47 speedster like Flash explored. In the world of superheroes, speedsters are one of the most exciting ones. It's not just because they're fast, but a multitude of other powers can be derived from their speed, thus making it a phenomenal superpower. For speedsters, it's not just about their speed, but also their capability to manipulate time, which opens a wide array of exciting possibilities and effects. There are debates associated with the might of speedsters from different comics, but DC has undoubtedly managed to stand out with its concept of the speed force and its speedsters. Hi everyone, and welcome to another marvellous video where we'll dive into the list of speedsters from the DC universe. Owing to concepts of time traveling and multiverses, this list is long. And so, without further delay, let's begin. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. The Flash, Barry Allen, Earth One. First, we have Barry Allen, aka The Flash from CW's Arrowverse, representing the reality known as Earth One. Born on March 14, 1989, he was the son of Henry and Nora Allen. Going by the story, when Barry was 11 years old, a time-traveling reverse Flash killed his mother. And because back then there was no evidence of an existing speedster, all the blame was wrongly placed on Barry's father. Since then, Barry was undertaken by police captain Joe West, who raised him as his own child. Dedicating his life to proving his father's innocence, Barry joined the Criminal and Forensic Science Division of the Central City as a scientist and worked along with Joe West. At some point, the particle accelerator from Star Labs exploded, causing a huge thundercloud. Barry was struck by lightning from the thundercloud, after which he was in a coma for nine months. Once Barry recovered his senses, he realized that he developed superhuman speed, which included his super speed healing as well. Since then, Barry used these powers to fight crime and neutralize threats posed by other metahumans, and he became known as the superhero Flash. Flash possessed a wide range of superpowers that were derived from his super speed. Since his molecules could move at super speed, he could heal from all wounds faster than any normal human being. This also made him immune to diseases, poisons, drugs, toxins, etc. Barry could generate electrical charges using his speed, which he often aimed at his opponents. He could phase through solid objects by vibrating himself at the natural frequency of the object. Flash could move so fast that he could generate illusions of himself, and thus seeming to appear in many places at the same time. With the ability to build huge momentum, Flash could deliver lethal blows to his opponents. Along with these, Barry could touch time travel as well. The Flash, Barry Allen, DCEU We're all familiar with DC Extended Universe Flash, which is being played by Ezra Miller. Unlike the TV series, here Bartholomew Henry Barry Allen has been showcased as a college student at Central City College. In his episode of Acquiring Superpowers, he was struck by a mysterious bolt of lightning which gave him his superpowers. He could think and run at tremendously high speeds, eventually making him choose to fight crime in Central City. The story with his father remains similar. Barry's been shown to be desperately wanting to free his father from imprisonment after being wrongly accused of his mother's murder. Although he tried his best to keep a low profile, in Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice, we got to see that Lex Luthor had been keeping a tab on the Flash and was aware of his identity. This data was later stolen by Bruce Wayne, using which he found Barry Allen and recruited him into his team with Diana. This was showcased in the Justice League, where Flash also played an important role in resurrecting Superman. In the Justice League Snyder Cut, Flash saved the world from being destroyed. He reversed time and helped Cyborg connect to the mother boxes and separate them. Following this, he was hired at the Central City Police Department's crime lab. Later, at some point, he was trained by Bruce Wayne to take down villains such as Top, Tarpit, and Gerda. It also showed his co-workers Patty, David Singh, and Albert. His powers derived from super speed were similar to the Flash from the TV series. However, DCEU's Flash has been shown to be a brilliant engineer and scientist. Wally West Created by John Broom and Carmine Infantino, Wally West made his first comic book appearance in Justice League Volume 2, Issue 50, published in July 2016. Wally West was the son of Rudy and Mary West, and he grew up in a small town called Blue Valley. As a child, he idolized Flash and always dreamed of visiting Central City to meet him. One summer, his aunt Iris West took him to Central City, where he met her friend, Barry Allen. He found the meeting boring until Barry, using his powers, managed to make the Flash appear before him. He probably used his skill of projecting himself at two different places. One day, while making a visit to meet Iris at Barry Allen's CSI lab at the Central City Police Department, 
Wally encountered the exact event which gave Flash his powers. A bolt of lightning struck a rack of chemicals beside him, and he too received the power of the Speed Force. Soon, Flash took him in as his sidekick, and he got the name Kid Flash. Following this, at some point, Wally played an important role in creating the Teen Titans with Robin, Aqualad, Omen, Speedy, and Wonder Girl. He came to be recognized as the superhero Kid Flash, but after Barry sacrificed his life to save the multiverse, he took the mantle of the Flash. He eventually made Bart Allen, aka Impulse, his sidekick. Bart Allen Bart Allen was Barry Allen's grandchild from the 30th century. He was born to Barry's son, Don Allen, and Melanie Thorne, the daughter of Eobard Thorne, aka Professor Zoom. Young Bart Allen was born with Barry's super speed, but it turned out to be his curse. The downfall of the speed force in him was his hyper-accelerated metabolism, which made him age at an abnormally high rate. When he was a toddler, he looked like a teenager, and this rapid growth rate was eventually driving him crazy. To prevent this from happening, Bart was largely raised in virtual reality, which was in synchronicity with unusual aging. However, at some point the simulator stopped working, following which his grandmother Iris Allen took him to the past to seek help from her nephew Wally West. They reached the 21st century, where Wally West was the Flash. Wally made Bart use his super speed at such high levels that the shock of it cured Bart's disorder. His metabolism speed was back to that of a normal speedster, and he stopped aging rapidly like before. Bart soon became Wally's sidekick, but his problems were far from being over. Being raised in a virtual simulation, he had no idea of real danger, for which he often acted irrationally and impulsively. Bart Allen was one of the founding members of the Young Justice League. Nora West Allen Nora West Allen, aka XS, made her first appearance in the Arrowverse in the Crisis on Earth X crossover event and later got her proper introduction in the fourth season of CW's Flash TV series. She was the daughter of Barry Allen and Iris West from the future of 2049. The character was created solely for the TV series but had its comic book inspiration. XS in the comics was Jenny Ognatz, the granddaughter of Dawn Allen, the daughter of Barry and Iris, and a politician named Jevon Ognatz. This made her Barry's granddaughter and Bart Allen's cousin. Nora West Allen inherited her father's super speed and eventually became a speedster. She time-traveled 30 years in the past after being influenced by Eobard Thorne. She arrived in the year 2017 and witnessed her parents' marriage. Later, when Professor Clifford DeVoe, aka the Thinker's satellites, were falling on Central City, she helped Barry stop the catastrophe. She was then confronted by Team Flash and her identity was revealed. Barry tried sending Nora back to her future, but she had a device which didn't let that happen. It was then revealed that Barry went missing in her future just after her birth, so she wanted to spend more time with her father. Team Flash decided to let Nora stay in the past and help her father, Flash. Soon, they encountered a villain named Cicada, who was seemingly difficult to take for the two speedsters. Nora time-traveled to the past and obtained items that could negate the effects of Cicada's dagger. This was all a plan of Eobard Thorne, who had manipulated Nora to time-travel into the past, for the sole purpose of destroying Cicada's dagger, which also inhibited his super speed. Nora's association with Thorne made Barry believe she betrayed him, and so despite her plea, she was sent back to her own time. Nora again tried returning to the past, but this time with the help of the negative speed force, which made her take the path of evil. She operated as a villainous speedster under the alias of Jenny Ognitz. With the help of Brie Larvin, Weather Witch, and Ragdoll, she formed a team of rogues and together destroyed Cicada's dagger. Immediately after destroying the dagger, Nora and Flash traveled to the future to confront Eobard Thorn, aka the Reverse Flash, who had just regained his powers. When Nora was about to deliver her final killing punch to Eobard, her hand started glowing, which is explained by Eobard was because Nora was being erased from existence owing to the creation of a new timeline. Nora could have used the negative speed force to save herself, but she didn't and said goodbye to her parents and left. Jason Garrick Debuting in 1940s Flash Comics issue 1, Jason Garrick's character was created by writer Gardner Fox and artist Harry Lampert. In the history of speedsters, he was the first one. In his youth, Jason was accepted into Midwestern University in Keystone City to complete his double majors in physics and chemistry. During his junior year, while working on an experiment to purify hard water without any residual radiation in a cyclotron, he encountered an accident after a test tube of the hard water was accidentally spilled. The explosion rendered him unconscious, and later, when he returned to his senses, he observed that he'd acquired super speed and other powers derived from it. He thus became the superhero Flash and later was a part of the Justice Society of America. He is often considered the Golden Age Flash. 
Edward Claris, created by John Broom and Carmine Infantino. Edward Claris was the arch enemy of Jason Garrick, who first appeared in 1949's Flash Comics issue 104. Edward Claris was a chemistry professor at Midwestern University in Keystone City, where Jason had joined for his double majors in physics and chemistry. Believing that it was his formula that gave Jason his superpowers, he placed his research before the scientific community. The community rejected his formula, following which he applied it to himself and transformed into a villain. He developed super speed and even wore a darker, evil version of the Flash costume to portray himself as an evil version of Flash. He took on the moniker Rival. However, his formula's effects were temporary. He soon lost his super speed and was defeated. A few months later, Rival appeared, and while confronting Jason Garrick, he attained the speed of light and vanished. The interdimensional supercriminal Johnny Sorrow later retrieved him after a decade. During the reformation of the Justice Society of America, Johnny Sorrow wanted Rival to be a part of his newly formed Injustice Society. Eobard Thorne Eobard Thorne, aka the Reverse Flash, was the true arch-nemesis of Barry Allen and by far one of the best supervillains DC has ever offered. His origin story is confusing as he appeared in different versions in different timelines. Created by writer John Broom and artist Carmine Infantino, Reverse Flash made his first appearance in The Flash issue 139, published in September 1963. Eobard Thorne was born in the year 2451 to a highly advanced and regimented society that sought to make their young children as perfect as possible. His parents genetically engineered him so that he could be extremely smart as well as handsome. However, they were unsatisfied by young Eobard's poor social skills and frequent daydreaming. In order to find a solution to the problem, Eobard's parents had a second child, Robin. Although the child was to help him outgrow his problem, it went on to add to it. Eobard was highly annoyed by Robin and suffered frequent outbursts. His parents began to neglect him and favored Roban, making Eobard feel isolated. All this distracted Eobard's focus from his academics, following which his application to study the Speed Force at the Flash Museum was rejected. Eobard was frustrated, but he didn't give up hope. He was obsessed with the 20th century Flash and wanted to become his successor. He began doing his own research on the Speed Force, which was then considered illegal. Soon, a police officer came to his doorstep to arrest him, and it was none other than his brother, Roban. However, before he could be arrested, a future version of Reverse Flash arrived and killed his brother. Eobard focused on his work and later got accepted by the Flash Museum. There, a scientist named Professor Drake discarded Eobard's theories on the Speed Force, following which another future version of Reverse Flash arrived and killed Professor Drake. Eobard soon ascended to become the Professor of the Flash Museum, where they gave him the name Professor Zoom. Eobard's attempts to tap into the Speed Force failed repeatedly, and with his growing obsession, he attracted his parents' concerns. When they tried closing the Flash Museum, Eobard's future self also arrived and killed them too. Eobard continued his research with no hassles, and at some point he fell in love with a reporter named Rose. When he learned that she was engaged, his future self arrived once again to kill her fiancé and all the other men that she'd ever dated. However, Rose didn't entertain his advances, and when he tried kissing her, she pushed him away. This angered Eobard so much that his future self went back in time and vibrated young Rose at such a high speed that she became mute permanently and institutionalized for the rest of her life. With all the time in hand, Eobard replicated the events that had transformed Barry Allen into the Flash and successfully became the Flash of the 25th century. However, when he time-traveled, he learned that his destiny was to become the worst enemy of Flash, and it drove him insane. Eobard created his own speed force opposite to that of the positive one known as the negative speed force and accomplished levels of speed no speedster could ever achieve. He constantly traveled back in time to create hassles for Barry Allen and even tried to kill him on occasions. Hunter Zolomon Hunter Zolomon, aka Zoom, was a speedster supervillain. Created by Jeff Johns and Scott Collins, the character was first introduced in The Flash Secret Files and Origins, Issue 3, published in November 2001. Hunter had a troubled childhood, as his parents were not on good terms with each other. It was later revealed that his father was a serial killer, and when his mother tried informing the police, he killed her as well. When the police tried catching him, he tried fighting back and was eventually killed. All this happened before Hunter's eyes, leaving the child deeply scarred. When he grew older, he became obsessed with understanding the criminal mind, which made him study psychology and criminology in college. He had a girlfriend named Ashley, and they were both recruited by the FBI. During a case in which a criminal attacked Ashley's father, Hunter took action, believing that the gunman wouldn't shoot. However, that didn't come true, leading to Ashley's father's death. This resulted in Ashley leaving Hunter and the FBI terminating his service. It was later revealed that Hunter was not wrong, and the death happened owing to the intervention of the reverse flash. Damaged by his losses, Hunter arrived in Keystone City and began working as a profiler with the police in their department of metahuman hostilities. His work often got him in touch with 
Wally West, and the two became good friends. At some point, Hunter was severely injured by Gorilla Grodd's attack at Iron Heights, which left him paralyzed from the waist down. He asked Wally to use the cosmic treadmill to go back to the past and stop this from happening, but the latter denied as it could risk damaging the timeline. Left with a feeling of betrayal, he broke into the Flash Museum and used the cosmic treadmill for himself. This resulted in an explosion that destroyed the museum and snapped Hunter's connection to time. He also acquired super speed, like the Flash. Hunter believed that, unlike Barry, Wally had never faced any major loss in life, for which he never ought to help him. He decided to become the new Zoom and tried killing Wally's wife, Linda, so that Wally could become a better hero. Wally, however, stopped this, but Hunter's attack forced both of them into a temporal anomaly, which made Hunter end up in a state of coma. He later woke up from his coma, but chose to remain in his cell, in prison. Thaddeus Thorne The Allen and Thorne families were constantly at war with each other. It was carried on for generations, and even into the 30th century, the bitterness prevailed. President Thorne first tried to recruit Bart Allen in his campaign against the Allens, as the speedster was a half Thorne and half Allen. However, Bart denied following, which Thorne then obtained Bart's DNA and mixed it with Thorne genetic material to create a clone. This clone was a speedster as well, and his name was Thaddeus Thorne. Unlike Bart, who was raised in a hyper-accelerated environment, Thaddeus was raised at slow speed, which eventually made him very calculative and methodical. This was done so that he could acquire knowledge and skill like no other. He was made to dislike the Allen family and hate Impulse in particular. His mission was to become the exact opposite of Impulse, and was thus given the name Inertia. Inertia opposed Impulse on Earth, bearing immense hatred towards him and his family. However, once when he saw Max Mercury saving Bart Allen, he was amazed at their love for each other and their mutual trust. He felt that his entire life was empty as he'd only focused on his anger and hatred all these years. This eventually enraged him and he escaped. Daniel West The character of Daniel West was created by Brian Bucciolato and Francis Manapool and was first introduced in 2012's Flash Volume 4, Issue 0. Daniel's mother's name wasn't revealed and she died giving birth to him. This was not well received by his father, William West, and he blamed Daniel for her death. William eventually became an alcohol addict and frequently abused Daniel while his sister Iris West tried to protect the child. One day, William went too far with his abuse and Daniel pushed him down the stairs. This incident changed his life completely. William was crippled for the rest of his life, and Iris's likeness for Daniel decreased. Daniel left his house, blaming his father for everything, and eventually, when he became 18, he became a thug. He tried to mend his relationship with Iris, but she couldn't forgive him for leaving her with their father. While committing burglary, he was stopped by the Flash and sent to prison for five years. At some point after he was released from prison, he was captured by the guerrillas during their attack on the Gem Cities. The rogues rescued him, but when they were about to loot him, he tried to escape. He crashed into Dr. Elias' stolen monorail car, which functioned with the help of a Speed Force battery, and the collision gave him the ability to turn back time and gave him super speed like that of the Flash. However, his powers were dependent on the charge of the Speed Force battery. With that, Hey guys. Jesse Quick Jesse Chambers, or Jesse Quick, was the daughter of Earth 2 speedster Johnny Quick and Liberty Bell. In this reality, Johnny had derived the formula to tap into the Speed Force, which he taught his daughter Jesse in hopes of making her a superhero. Upon growing, Jesse developed a flair for studying past superheroes and dedicated her life to the same. During her study at Gotham University, the first superhero team, the Justice Society of America, made a brief appearance, followed by a long absence. As a result, she began working on a thesis based on them. When her father asked her to deliver some documents to the team, she met them and aided them in their mission as Jesse Quick, thereby fulfilling her father's dream. Iris West Allen We're all familiar with Iris West from CW's Flash TV series. Played by actress Candice Christina Patton, Iris West was the daughter of police captain Joe West and the late Francine West. She worked briefly as a waitress at CC Jitters and was the owner of the Central City Citizen. Barry always had feelings for her, but could never advance with his proposal. After becoming the Flash, when the citizens of Central City acknowledged Barry Allen's presence, Iris took the keen initiative to learn more about the mysterious speedster. This led to her having frequent interactions with Flash. She later became a Central City Picture New Journalist and worked there to uncover the events involving metahumans and Flash. Barry and Iris eventually fell in love, and after learning about Barry's true identity, she joined Team Flash as a co-leader. When Barry disappeared into the Speed Force, she became the leader of Team Flash and helped Vibe and Kid Flash in carrying out their superhuman activities. But later, when Barry arrived, she decided to quit her role and continue her work as a journalist. While in an encounter with the metahuman villain Melting Point, Iris briefly gained super speed and took over as the Flash before tracking down her husband and transferring her powers to him. Yeah. 
Wallace West. Created by Van Jensen, Robert Venditti, Ron Friends and Brett Booth, Wallace West was introduced after DC launched the New 52 in 2011. Several characters from the Flash miniseries were missing, and Barry was the only known speedster in Central City. This was set 20 years in the future and there was no mention of Wally West. However, in the Flash issue 30, we get to see a new paper clipping showcasing the death of dark-skinned and black-haired Wally West. This was an attempt to synchronize the comic book character with its counterpart in the CW series, who had an African-American origin. In the comics, Wallace was mentioned to be the nephew of Iris West, a troubled child. He frequently bunked school and soon would have taken the wrong path until Barry took up the role of mentoring him. During a battle between the Flash and his future self, Wallace got stuck in the middle of a speed force explosion, which granted him the powers of a speedster. The Accelerated Man Earth-19. Created by Grant Morrison and Giuseppe Camancioli, the accelerated man was the flash from the alternate reality of Earth-19. He was introduced in the Multiversity Guidebook Issue 1, published in March 2015, where he was recruited by the Red Racer along with the flashes of different realities to stop the Super Judge. The accelerated man soon took up his role as the Speedster, along with a new suit, and became wanted by law enforcement for vigilante activity. August Hart, aka Godspeed. Debuting in The Flash Rebirth Volume 2, Issue 1, August Hart was a police officer at the Central City Police Department, along with his brother Georges. He was a close friend of Barry and worked alongside him in investigating crime. However, things started changing after a criminal shot his brother during a patrol. August was devastated. There was no valuable evidence for the death of his brother, and several days later, the police department got hold of a criminal named Billy Parks for the death of Georges. The day before Billy would have been taken for trial, the lightning bolt that struck Barry in his forensic lab destroyed all evidence against him, following which Billy was allowed to go scot-free from his trial. Later, at some point while investigating the case of burglary at Star Lab, August found out the same group's involvement which had killed his brother. This was enough for him to lose his mind. The fact that Billy wasn't punished had left a growing grudge deep within him, which had finally found its moment of eruption. August began investigating the case viciously and recklessly. Soon, his cover was blown, and he discovered the organization at their base. The group was then experimenting on the Speed Force, and upon August's arrival, the chaos caused a Speed Force storm to erupt. This gave August the powers of a speedster, and he quickly dodged all bullets that the thugs shot at him. August subdued them and later eagerly joined Flash in his life for fighting crime. However, the Speed Force storm had created many other speedsters, and together they began finding them and taking them to their training camp to control their powers. Meanwhile, a new speedster had emerged who killed the newly formed speedsters and extracted their Speed Force to enhance himself. Soon it was revealed that the villainous new speedster Godspeed was none other than August Hart. After a long fight and extended battle, Flash finally defeated him and imprisoned him at Iron Heart. During his period as Godspeed, he'd absorbed so much speed force from the new recruits that he could be at two places at the same time. His unimaginable speed was also accompanied by his creativity, which made it very difficult for even the Flash and his team to counter. Eliza Harmon Eliza Harmon had been shown to be a speedster both in comics and the CW's Arrowverse. In the TV series, she was a scientist and an associate of Caitlin Snow. They worked at Mercury Labs for some time after they met since Caitlin asked for her help in reformatting the extracellular matrix for Velocity 9. Caitlin, however, didn't completely reveal the nature of the experiment, but Eliza soon discovered it. She then reverse-engineered Velocity 9 for herself and became a speedster. However, the powers came with her identity disorder problems. She developed a second personality whom she called Trajectory and frequently interacted and argued with her. She informed Caitlin that the serum was destroyed but secretly kept injecting herself with it. One night when the serum was over, she broke into Star Labs, imprisoned Flash, and left with the Velocity 9. She was chased by the Flash and before she took another dose, Barry pleaded with her to stop as the serum would degenerate her cells and lead to her death. However, it wasn't enough to convince her and she injected the serum and died while stating that even the Flash couldn't catch her. In the comics, Eliza was introduced in 2006's 52 Volume 1 Issue 7. Unlike the TV series, she was a chosen candidate by Lex Luthor Luther for the Everyman Project. She was granted super speed by Lex Luthor after repeated begging, following which she became a member of Lex's new superhero team. However, she could only move at super speed, and she needed a drug known as the Sharp to slow down. She blamed Luther for her condition and left his team. She also wanted to be a part of the Teen Titans, but her dreams were cut short after Lex stripped her of her powers during her battle with the Blockbuster, following which she was killed. Malcolm Thorne Making his first appearance in Speed Force Issue 1, published in November 1997, Malcolm was the twin brother of Barry Allen. The night Nora Allen gave birth to Barry, there was another woman named Charlene Thorne, whose child died due to miscarriage in the same hospital. That night, the two pregnant women were attended to by Dr. Gilmore. Nora had a smooth delivery giving birth to twins, but Charlene's delivery was complex as the child had been strangled by its own umbilical cord. Dr. Gilmore was drunk, and he couldn't execute Charlene's delivery. 
It was a stormy night, and when a bolt of lightning caused the hospital to black out, the doctor hid Charlene's dead baby and placed one of Nora's twins beside Charlene. Hence, the doctor's inefficiency was covered up and the twins got split. Charlene Thorne's son was Malcolm. The Thorns, for generations, had a strange connection with the Blue Flame. Malcolm's parents, Hugo and Charlene, were con artists, and they used the Blue Flame to trick people into believing that it would heal them. Malcolm's inability to wield the Blue Flame revealed that he wasn't a thorn, and his parents ill-treated him. At the age of 17, Charlene told Malcolm that he was adopted, following which he went back to find Dr. Gilmore for answers. Upon learning the truth, he killed the doctor out of rage and went on to find the Allens. He found Barry Allen and learned that he was a police officer. He also witnessed Barry becoming the Flash and began envying Barry's life, believing that it could have been his. Malcolm met his adoptive grandmother and learned about the truth of the Blue Flame, which could do anything that the heart desired. Malcolm was taught to place his hatred within the talisman and use the Blue Flame. Taking the alias Cobalt Blue, he confronted Barry and Wally and managed to trap them within the Blue Flame and steal their speed force. He gained super speed, but later during the battle with the Flash, he got trapped inside the Blue Flame and thus managed to retreat. Created by Mark Wade and Oscar Jimenez, Savitar was a Speed Force conduit and an enemy of Flash. The character made its first appearance in The Flash Volume 2, Issue 108, published in December 1995. The man who became Savitar was originally a pilot from a developing country. One day, while testing a supersonic jet, as he reached top speed, a lightning bolt struck the jet and made it crash land in enemy terrain. The man soon realized that the incident had given him super speed, using which he defeated the enemies easily. He slowly became obsessed with speed and later named himself Savitar after the Hindu god of motion. He embarked on the path of unlocking the secrets of the Speed Force and eventually discovered new levels of power that no other speedster could wield. Savitar also gathered a number of followers and soon had a cult of his own. He then realized the existence of other speedsters like Johnny Quick, Savitar and Johnny encountered in a battle, and Max Mercury managed to lead Savitar toward the Speed Force, following which the two bounced forward in time. Max managed to emerge from the time stream before Savitar, and he began preparing the Flash family for Savitar. Savitar was an extremely powerful speedster. He'd spent years mastering the usage of the Speed Force and had powers no other speedster could ever obtain. He could create a null inertia force field around him, protecting him from any lethal attack. He could give speed and hence kinetic energy to any object living or dead, and could heal from injuries almost instantly. Black Racer Not much is known about the origin of Black Racer. The Black Racer has been in existence since time immemorial and was tasked to collect the souls of fallen gods during battle. Since then, the mantle of Black Racer has been passed on. At some point in time, it was passed on to the war veteran Willie Walker. During the Vietnam War, Willie was severely injured and paralyzed. Returning to America, he witnessed a murder committed by a criminal known as Sugar Man. The crook soon noticed him and went forward to kill him as well and clear all evidence. However, William's despair summoned the Black Racer, and its powers were passed on to him. He was saved and later cured of his paralysis upon summoning the Black Racer. Being the manifestation of death, Black Racer was immortal and could move at tremendously high speeds, like a speedster. Blitzkrieg Earth-X Blitzkrieg was a speedster from an alternate reality of Earth-X. The character was created by Robert Knaier, John Broom and Carmine Infantino, and was first introduced in episode 1 of the Freedom Fighters, The Ray web series. Blitzkrieg was a part of an elite group within the new Reich Schutzstaffel forces, known as the New Reichsmen. He fought against the Freedom Fighters alongside Black Arrow, but was knocked unconscious and imprisoned. Like any other speedster, Blitzkrieg had his connection to the Speed Force, which granted him super speed, accelerated healing factor, and many other derived powers. Jenny Ognitz Jenny Ognitz was XS from the comics. She was the daughter of Jevon Ognitz and Dawn Allen. Dawn was the daughter of Barry Allen, which made The Flash her grandfather. Created by Tom McCraw, Mark Wade, and Jeffrey Moy, Jenny made her first appearance in Legionnaire's issue of October 1994. Soon after the birth of Jenny, Professor Zoom attacked her family. They and the family of Don Allen, Jenny's uncle, attempted to escape using the cosmic treadmill. Their plan was spoiled after Zoom intervened, causing the cosmic treadmill to explode and leave them stranded on Earth 247. Jenny's powers first manifested when the Dominators attacked her father. She used her super speed to save her father before the Dominator exploded their base. She eventually self-trained to be able to control her super speed and act in coordination. Black Flash Little is known about how or why the Black Flash existed, but speedsters saw him before dying or having a close encounter with death. Barry Allen and Johnny Quick saw him before dying. On the other hand, Max Mercury, while experiencing a near-death situation, got a glimpse of the horrifying speedster. At some point, when the Black Flash came to take Wally West into the Speed Force, it returned with his girlfriend instead, following which it tried again. This time, he was assisted by Max Mercury, Jay Garrick, and Jesse Quick. 
and they helped Wally defeat the Black Flash by racing him to the end of time where death had no meaning, causing it to disintegrate. Black Flash later appeared to Bart Allen before his death. Barry Allen eventually even became Black Flash. Jonathan Allen Jonathan Allen, aka Johnny Quick, was from Earth-3, where the superheroes we know of were actually their evil counterparts. Just like the Justice League, they had their crime syndicate, and Jonathan Allen was the evil counterpart of Flash. Created by Gardner Fox, Mike Sikowski, Jeff Johns, and Ivan Rice, Jonathan Allen, before gaining powers of a speedster, was a high-profile criminal. Jonathan was struck by lightning while being cornered on the roof of Central City Star Labs, which gave him his super speed along with other powers derived from it. Calling himself Johnny Quick, he became the evil speedster of Earth-3, and later a part of the crime syndicate. Max Mercury Created by Jack Cole and Chuck Mazuzian, Max Mercury was born in the early 19th century, and by 1838 he became the messenger at a fort and made friends with the local Blackfoot clan. At some point, the commander of the clan ordered a full-scale massacre of the clan. During this, before dying, the clan shaman drew a lightning bolt on Mercury's chest with a pinkish substance and said a prayer to the god of storm and wind. Max began running, and his speed began increasing. He defeated the Blackfoot soldiers and saved everyone. Since then, he devoted several years to protecting the natives and the settlers from waging war against one another. He was known by the name Ahuehota, and later as Windrunner. One stormy night, Max felt drawn toward lightning from within and began running. He ran faster than ever before, breaking all barriers and tabbing into the speed force. While trying to understand the true purpose, he lost confidence and fast-forwarded in time. He arrived in New York 1891 and tried several times to tap into the speed force, and every time he failed, he landed in a new time period where he served as a superhero. Jonathan Fox Debuting in Flash Special Issue 1, published in July 1990, Jonathan Fox was the Flash of the 27th century. His timeline was eventually attacked by a mutagenic Flash rogue named Manfred Motor. All three Flashes from the past had faced Motor at different points in time, for which Motor forced the Central City Academy of Science to send Jonathan Fox back in time to at least get one Flash for him to fight. Jonathan was sent to the past, but the process didn't work as planned and the trip was not complete. However, it gave Jonathan the powers of a speedster. He became the flash of his timeline and managed to take down Manfred Motor. However, his heroism didn't last long, as he was soon replaced by speed metal robots. Ivana Molotova After hearing news about America's Flash, two Soviet scientists, Drs. Pyotr Orlov and Krulik, were so thrilled that they sought to make their very own speedster. Orlov was interested in the positive benefits they could get for their society, while Krulik was only interested in its use for the military. He forced Orlov, who needed to experiment on animals, to try it on humans, following which they received three children from the Kremlin. Unbeknownst to Orlov, Krulik had already injected himself with the serum and received super speed. However, moving at such high speed caused him to be burned alive by friction. The three children that were experimented on next were Gregor Grigorovich, Boleslaw Ominsky, and Ivana. They were known as the Blue Trinity. They were tasked with capturing the Flash, but they failed owing to circumstances. The Manhunters betrayed the Blue Trinity and later sold them to Vandal Savage, who experimented on them using Velocity 9. Eventually, when Flash died, Ivana took on the name Lady Flash, and she always remained loyal to Vandal owing to her need for Velocity 9. She later changed sides after Barry Allen returned. Iris West II Created by writer Mark Wade and artist Alex Ross, Iris West, also referred to as Iris West II, was introduced in 2019's Flash Forward Issue 2. She was the daughter of Wally West and Linda Park, along with her twin brother, Jai West. Before the Flashpoint could even alter reality, the siblings were sucked into the dark multiverse. Wally tried to save them, but he himself was sucked into it. This eventually erased all existence of Iris and Jai from history. They were stranded on a planet in the dark multiverse and afterward found by their father, Wally. The planet was a physical manifestation of Wally's fears of not being able to meet his family, and Wally soon realized that he could change things on his own. He then joined the Mobius chair in exchange for Tempest Fusino to take his children to Earth Zero. Soon, the two children were integrated into the history of Earth Zero and they reunited with their mother, Linda. Barry Allen, Earth 52, Red Death In the Dark Multiverse, there were several versions of Batman that had succumbed to being evil or insane. These versions were extremely powerful and all were capable of taking down worlds. One such character was Red Death, formed by merging Batman and Flash of Earth Negative 52. In this reality, many of Bruce's sidekicks were dead, which drove him insane. He believed that if he had Flash's super speed, then he could be fast enough to be able to stop crime. He first took down Flash's villains and confiscated their weapons, following which he used them to take down Barry Allen. Restraining Barry to his Batmobile, merged with the Cosmic Treadmill, Bruce drove them into the Speed Force and absorbed Flash along with his powers. He donned a new costume and became Red Death, following which he began murdering all rogues and thugs of Gotham. Barry's consciousness was present inside him, and he kept pleading with him to stop. 
When Earth-52 began collapsing, Red Death was recruited by the Batman Who Laughs, and together they tormented the multiverse. Avery Ho Avery Ho was one of the speedsters who got her powers after the criminal organization named Black Hole created a speed force in Central City. There were dozens of other citizens who acquired super speed and were unable to control their powers. Avery Ho was soon met by Flash and Dr. Mina Dewan and taken into Dewan Speed Force Academy to train her to control her powers. Soon, a mysterious speedster began absorbing the speed force from the new recruits and killing them. It was none other than August Hart, aka Godspeed. In order to take down Godspeed, all the new speedsters gave their powers to Barry except for Avery, as before it could happen, Godspeed arrived. Barry managed to defeat Godspeed and Avery was able to keep her powers. Avery Ho eventually became the Flash of China and later became a part of the Justice League of China. Alinta, aka Bolt Created by Robbie Thompson and Javi Fernandez, Alinta was first introduced in Infinite Frontier Issue Zero published in May 2021. As a child, Alinta managed to draw energy from the Speed Force with the help of a formula written on a torn piece of paper. Her parents used her ability to grow their business of trafficking goods. Things ran smoothly for the family until one day when Alinta lost her legs as part of a debt her parents couldn't pay off. Her parents left her to die, and that was when Amanda Waller found her. She gave her a pair of blades to use as prosthetic legs, using which she could run again. But it cost her her freedom as from then, Waller owned her. Alinta later joined the Teen Titans, but she had to be present every time Waller called for her. Hot Pursuit Hot Pursuit was introduced in the sixth issue of The Flash, where he claimed to be a version of Barry Allen from a parallel universe. He was shown to be going back in time to warn himself about the upcoming events of The Flashpoint. His story was similar to that of The Flash. However, this was only true till the point before a significant anomaly altered the reality of the future. But instead of running, Hot Pursuit had a cosmic motorcycle that was powered by the Speed Force. It had to be charged with a huge amount of electricity for it to tap into the Speed Force. It can be inferred that the widespread time-altering effects of The Flashpoint made Barry lose his connection to the Speed Force for which he used the cosmic motorcycle. The character was created by Jeff Johns and Francis Manipal. Johnny Chambers As mentioned earlier, Johnny Chambers was the father of Jesse Quick. He was born in an alternate reality of Earth 2. He eventually became a newsreel photographer and worked for the Sees All Tells All News, along with his friend Tubby Watts. Meanwhile, his guardian Professor Ezra Gill, a great mathematical genius, discovered a papyrus at the ancient tomb of the King Amun of Egypt with a formula termed as 3x2NYZ4A written on it. Professor Ezra soon discovered that by using this formula, his brain could tap into the fourth dimension and harness an unspecified speed energy. Before his death, he passed it on to Johnny Chambers and taught him how to use its derived speed. This gave Johnny superhuman speed, and calling himself Johnny Quick, he soon became the speedster superhero of his reality. Johnny was highly inspired by Jay Garrick and even developed a similar costume. Later, his formula was passed on to his daughter, Jesse Chambers. Jess Chambers Jess Chambers, aka Kid Quick, was the nephew of Jesse Chambers from Earth-11. Created by Ivan Cohen and Eleonora Carlini, Jess Chambers was a non-binary speedster who, like their auntie Jesse Chambers, could tap into the speed force using the mathematical formula 3x2-9yz-4a. Jess Chambers was first introduced in DC's Very Merry Multiverse, Issue 1, published in February 2021. Red Racer Also known as The Flash from Earth-36, Red Racer made his first appearance in Action Comics Volume 2, Issue 9. He was the fastest man on Earth-26 and a member of Justice 9. While making his way to Earth-7 along with President Superman of Earth-23, Captain Carrot of Earth-26, Aquawoman of Earth-11, and Thunderer from Earth-7, they were all diverted to Earth-8. They witnessed the rebirth of the corrupted Nix Uoten, who was the last of the Monitors. Red Racer, in an attempt to spread the message across the multiverse, was about to sacrifice himself before the flashes of the multiverse helped him take down Nix Uoten. Later, when the prophecy was hunting the Superman of the universe, Red Racer sacrificed his life to remake the extra-dimensional boat Ultima Thule, which was their only way of traveling across the different realities. His death was showcased in Superman Vol. 4, Issue 16, published in April 2017. Speed Demon Created by Mike Barron and Jackson Geis, Speed Demon was a speedster villain, introduced in The Flash Vol. 2, Issue 5, published in October 1987. His real name was Jerry McGee, and he was a scientist for Genetech in Syracuse, which specialized in making super-athletes. While working on a project named Ubermensch, he injected himself with steroid B19. This gave him unique powers along with super speed, making him increasingly obsessed with his work. He soon began losing his mental stability and, at some point, he assaulted his fellow employees, following which he was locked out of the lab. 
His relationship with his wife Tina also deteriorated and they remained separated for a year. Later, when she approached him for divorce, he beat her up. Tina then moved in with Wally West, which infuriated Jerry and made him take the name Speed McGee and exact revenge. He made a highly advanced suit that kept injecting the steroid B-19 into him and helped him track Tina. He tracked Tina to Wally's home and after causing a giant explosion, he disappeared. Baroness Blitzkrieg Although there are no direct references, Baroness Blitzkrieg is considered to be a descendant of Baron Blitzkrieg. First appearing in the Justice Society of America Volume 3, Issue 2, published in March 2007, Baroness was a member of the Nazi supervillain group known as Fourth Reich. The group was later hired by the immortal warrior Vandal Savage to murder the families of the old superheroes of the Golden Age. Baroness exterminated several descendants of the Commander, before targeting the son of a retired superhero Stripesy and Stargirl's stepbrother. She was, however, unsuccessful following which Jay Garrick took her down. Walter West Walter Wally West existed in an alternate timeline and could be stated as the reality's Wally West, but unlike him, Walter's life was darker. His story was identical to that of Wally, except for the outcome of his battle with Cobra. Unlike Wally, Walter was unable to save his wife, Linda. This drove him insane, and he chose a life where he became a brutal version of the Flash. While taking down criminals, he often used lethal force and injured them badly. He later traveled to Wally's timeline and took his place, believing that Wally was dead. The Streak The Streak was a speedster like Flash from a parallel Earth. In his reality, he was a member of the Justice Guild, a superhero team similar to that of the Justice League. Back in 1962, The Streak, along with all the members of the Justice Guild, had died during a missile attack. Years later, a mutant boy named Ray Thompson, who had the power to create a virtual reality construct with his mind, recreated the Justice League along with the entire destroyed Seaboard City. The Guild was trapped in the city for 40 years until the Justice League learned about the truth of their existence. They soon revealed the truth to the recreated members of the Justice League, following which Ray attacked the Justice League members. The Streak, along with the rest, incapacitated Ray after which their existence was erased and Seaboard City was returned back to its original devastated state. Danica Williams Danica Williams, as showcased in the DC Animated Universe, was the Flash from the 2040s. She had her connection with the Speed Force, which eventually granted her super speed and also the ability to communicate with other speedsters from the past, including Jay Garrick, Wally West, and Bart Allen. When she first interacted with the Justice League, they were struggling against Ronald Tag, aka Mindslide, who had managed to replicate their powers and also mind control them. She made her first appearance in the Multiversity Issue 2, titled Super Judge, where she and the Flashes of the Multiverse were recruited by the Red Racer to take down a corrupted Nix Uwoten and then the Gentry. Well-spoken Sonic Lightning Flash Well-spoken Sonic Lightning Flash was a young speedster whose real name was Kaigo. He wore a round helmet and giant athletic shoes using which he could run up to 500 miles per hour. Created by Grant Morrison and J.G. Jones, well-spoken Sonic Lightning Flash made his first appearance in Final Crisis Sketchbook Issue 1, published in August 2008. Bartholomew West Created by Mark Wade and Mark Pagiarello, Bartholomew West was the son of Wally West. He made his first appearance in the Kingdom Kid Flash Issue 1, published in February 1999. Wally always wanted his son to be a superhero like him, but Bartholomew had no such plans. Instead of using his powers to become a superhero, he used them for his personal reasons and spent most of his time on his couch. Harry Allen Carrie Allen was from Earth 3839 and was the Flash in the 1980s and 1990s. She first appeared in Superman and Batman Generations 2, Issue 3, published in October 2001. She made numerous appearances. In 1986, she helped Stephanie Trevor, aka Wonder Woman and Green Lantern, Alan Scott in controlling Bruce Wayne Jr., who had gone insane after the death of his wife, Cara Kent. Later in 1997, she was shown to be helping Kyle Rayner and Janet, aka Black Hawk, in tracking down Sinestro and stopping him from eliminating the Green Lanterns. Dawn Allen and Don Allen, aka the Tornado Twins. Before the crisis on infinite Earths, Barry Allen and Iris West moved forward in time and settled in the 30th century. There, they had a pair of twins, Dawn and Don Allen. However, after they were born, Barry had to leave as he was called back to his reality to assist the superheroes during the crisis. However, he was slain in the event, and the two children grew up without a father. Dawn and Don Allen inherited their father's superpowers, and they grew up to be the Tornado Twins. Later, at some point when the Dominators defeated them, Eobard Thorne arrived to save them. He then tainted them with the reverse speed force and turned them into his allies. Eobard first sent the duo to a future version of Central City to fight against their aged father, and then brought them back to join his Legion of Zoom. Joni Swift Joni Swift was from an alternate reality of Earth 2. She was a college student working as a secretary for the State University. 
One day, while taking down equations from Professor Winklerod, she came across the formula that had given Johnny Quick his super speed. She read the problem out loud, and soon after that, she noticed something unusual. The typewriter she was typing on began melting owing to her speed. And later, when her professors asked her to deliver the papers to Dr. Halsey's office, she moved so fast that she blew past her professor in mere seconds. While passing through the room where Professor Gilquad had collected animals, Johnny's speed blew up in the cages and all the animals were set free. Joni flew out of the window and fortunately was noticed by Johnny Quick, who stopped her before she could cause harm to herself or others. Although Johnny was shocked to learn how she read the formula, he taught her ways to control her powers. Joni was thrilled and wanted to be partners with Johnny Quick. She got a costume for herself and then the duo began collecting all the animals that were set loose. Following this, her powers wore out and when she tried reading the formula again, it didn't work as Johnny had secretly changed the formula. However, she enjoyed the time being a speedster and thanked Johnny for his help and assistance. Swoosh. Next, we have Swoosh, a Velociraptor speedster. Swoosh was introduced in the Flash issue 768, published in May 2021. When Wally West lost his connection to the Speed Force, his consciousness kept bouncing through the timeline and possessing other speedsters across it. First, he possessed a caveman named Ugg. Soon, his Velociraptor got infected with the Speed Force and attained super speed. The Velociraptor chased them until he exploded with energy, following which Wally's consciousness was sent back into the time stream. Sela Allen. Created by Mark Wade and Paul Pelletier, Zela Allen was the Flash from the 23rd century. Her father was the enemy of Cobalt Blue, who at some point managed to capture Zela and her family. He killed her mother in front of her father and crippled Zela. Cobalt Blue then turned his attention toward her brain, but the Flash managed to free himself and save her. However, Zela's damage was beyond repair, and out of desperation, Flash took her into the Speed Force to heal her. Months later, when Cobalt Blue managed to kill her father, she appeared as a living manifestation of the Speed Force, projecting a humanoid version of herself. She could lend speed to other objects, but couldn't interact with the physical world. Marvelous verdict. So finally, we've come to the end of the long list, and we hope you found it entertaining and informative. The list of speedsters of DC is huge, so please feel free to add on any speedster you think we've missed in the comment section. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone.